Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Go Sweden. Today is Saturday for me and it's time for some swimming. I actually already went swimming yesterday at a different lake and I think I'm going to make a video where I will be ranking and testing all the lakes and swimming areas around me like let's say in an hour of driving distance at least as much as I can do the rest of the summer and maybe fall just a small little sneak peek for the day nothing too crazy however the water is nice we have like 19 degrees the sun is warm I don't really know if it is strong enough to give me a sunburn I have sunscreen with me I didn't put it on yet but we will see what the outfall is for this day <laughs> but yeah so this video today is more about my week what happened this week what else can I talk about and well it was the first week after the three weeks summer vacation and I have to say it was actually pretty chill I was expecting way more stress and it kind of felt like it was the opposite which is however also due to the fact that some people who are more in charge than other people were still on vacation for this day. So that is why yeah, I was just doing the things I was able to do with now more people and also yeah, more communication possible but still like the big crazy projects they are not here yet because I don't really know what's next, what is priority, but this is probably going to happen next week. And so for now, the week was very chilling, a lot of documentation again, but I also learned more new things that I will be working in the future with. It's probably going to be stressful, but that's just life. So that was based on work. What else happened? Well, I already said yesterday I was at a different lake after work, like I was sitting during the lunch break with my work colleagues and it was, like it was perfect weather and some of them said like during the time when we had vacation in Ernstadt's week it was always like rain or then if it was sunny like only for a few hours and then it was cloudy and rainy again and there was not really like a good day or like a really great time to have for example like a camping trip in the area and now we go back to work and it's beautiful weather so so that's why i basically also decided yesterday evening yeah okay let's just go for a short little swim i left my apartment like at five came back at seven so i was gone for like two hours that was pretty nice and now today i decided the same thing i was a bit skeptical in the beginning because it was supposed to rain and there was also like a slight chance of thunder but it was only in the morning hours like really early morning and then it was cloudy and now it's opening up so perfect time i really actually don't even know what time it is i think it's shortly after three yeah three fifteen. and i am here now to as you can already see my laptop to do the work that i usually would do at home or in the past weeks before the vacation i did in the car so now that is exactly what i want of course it would be cool to have some people around that i know that are doing like their stuff for example reading books or whatever and we're just like joining together when we take a swim but next Friday I will hang out with work colleagues and we go into a sauna and then also in the lake I just hope the weather is good and it's going to be a great time so that is really really awesome so now I will be working I for example will put all the videos that I have done during my Norway trip on my external hard drive and also cut videos so that's for sure but this is not the end of the video I was really thinking should I just keep it as a part of the Norway video when it's coming out but I decided to take it out of there and make this more like the uh, the crazy thing in this video and that is during my Norway trip I was in a town called Molde and I can already spoil you that this is in my opinion the most beautiful town that I have found during this whole trip and when I was going to the supercharger there in Molde to charge my car I saw like oh yeah okay they have a service center like a Tesla service center there a lot of Teslas and I was driving past the building was looking through the window and there it was the Cybertruck pure steel big truck and I was like wait no that is not possible because 
I knew that they cannot sell the cars in Europe. They are not even like sure if they will ever sell them in Europe. And so I was driving to the supercharger, plugged in the car and immediately went into the service center and was talking to the guy and said like, hey, I don't have any problem. I just saw that you have the Cybertruck here. And then we had like a nerd talk. Unfortunately, I was not able to go into the car. It was blocked off. So no chance to yeah, have any feeling what it's like in there. But I can tell you this thing is way bigger than it looks in any video. So you will probably have the same feeling now. It's just small. But when you stand in front of that, you think like, wow, that is really, really big. But now enough said. Check out the video and then I will talk to you again. Okay, guys. I'm just, I've just driven to the supercharger and something has happened that I would have never expected. This is the real deal. This is the Cybertruck here. And I was so lucky. The guy just told me this is one out of two in Europe. The second one is in Iceland right now. But this is... Wow. Oh my God. Just... Of course, I cannot really go around and I don't want to bother anyone, but this is unbelievable. Holy moly. I, I really, I'm really smiling the whole time. The guy also said he was the guy who has driven this, this beast the most in Europe as of right now, because of course the car is not legal here. Actually, I was, I was planning to look for camp spots for tonight, but when I saw this beast... Guys, I'm looking at this car and I still don't know what to say, if I like it or if I don't like it, but I think I really do like it. It is way, way bigger than I have, would have ever expected. It's... <laughs> this is really like a truck. Like already the tires are huge and then the front is really sleek and I like that you don't have anything in the middle. This gives even more space. The LED bar, of course. And that, that thing is also awesome that you can flip the back seats that you have even more space there than the back screen just as in my car. The doors also, you know, the doors the way they open, like the, how, how much they open. And then this huge space in the back, of course, that I already showed you. Crazy. <sighs> of course, they also have other nice cars. The Model S Plaid, the Model X, and you, you know the basics, you know. <sighs> but this, It's the foundation series also, yeah. And this, <laughs> how did I not even notice? The biggest windshield wiper in the world on a production car. Okay guys, the sun is now hitting really strong. So either I change my location or I put some sunscreen on, at least on the neck to not get sunburn. I think that is actually the best plan and I hope you liked this video. I am now starting to cut and let's see what's next. I think the goal for me is to upload the trip from Germany to Sweden next. And then for the Norway trip, I want to put more time in that. Like I really want to do stuff that I have done on my German YouTube channel. Let's see how much I can do that. Also depending on the content that I will be doing in the meantime. But enough said for now. I hope you have a wonderful day. If it's nice weather where you are, take a swim. And we're going to talk to each other again probably in a week. Because then I can give you the next recap of the week. Have a wonderful one. See you in the next video. Bye bye.